time to turn in for the night, guys. <clears throat> you want to sleep down here tonight, Garfield? <sighs> Some nights you just want to be closer to the kitchen. You want to sleep in my room, Odie? <gasps> okay, sweet dreams, Garfield. <sighs> Take a peek, Norval. See if it's safe. Yeah, yeah, I... Hey, why don't you take a peek? Well, you just look. The show starts any minute now. Hey, Artie, can he hear anything with those on? Let's see. Garfield, wake up. Okay, here comes the big test. Garfield, wake up! We're good. Let's watch TV. Bye there. What channel is it? 99 and a half. It's a channel that's on every TV, but humans don't know about it. Now for our final round. Remember, if you can name that cheese, you can eat that cheese. Are you ready? Oh, ready, yes, Bob. we're ready, Bob. Then, name that cheese. Uh, okay, uh, 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 cheese. No, uh, uh, a camembert. Uh, What's the big deal? It's Norwegian organic yellow brick made with milk from a cow named Bessie. Go uh, on, go on. Uh, Jack cheese, Jack cheese. Uh, 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 I'm sorry. The correct answer is Norwegian organic yellow brick made with milk from a cow named Bessie. Hey, you were right, Artie. Hey, I know cheese. Well, since no one got it, we'll add that cheese to next week's cheese jackpot, which will be worth 27,000 milligrams of cholesterol. <laughs> Stay tuned for the Rat Report, coming up next here on the All Rodent Channel. For now, bye-bye from Name That Cheese. Okay, the show we have to see is starting now. You're watching the All Rodent Channel, the only channel for mice, hamsters, guinea pigs, rats, squirrels, moles, beavers, chipmunks, and porcupines. And now, tonight, on The Rat Report, the truth about cats. What should you, as a rodent, know about Pay them? Pay attention, Norval. This could save our lives. Cats. They're a fact of life, and we as mice have to deal with them. To get the lowdown, the All Rodent Channel sent a gerbil with a hidden camera to this house. To find out about this cat, Why is that Garfield? Here are seven things every uh -oh. rodent must know about a cat like this one. Number one, cats like to sleep all day and all night. Yeah, that's him. Number two, cats love to claw everything in sight. Number three, cats love to eat. Right again. Yes. Number four. Cats can be mean to dogs. <laughs> Let's watch that one again in slow motion. Hey. Number five. Cats can be mean to other cats. Here you are, Garfield. Happy birthday. Oh, this is just what I wanted. I'd like to re-gift this to someone in Abu Dhabi, uh -huh. please. Why am I wasting my time? Garfield's house, they never throw away anything that's edible. Number six, cats can be mean to anyone. Yes, I'm about to deliver the mail to the house with that cat, Muriel. Just in case I don't return, I want you to know I've always loved you. <laughs> oh. It's you, Garfield. That's an awful thing you did to me. I ought to do something awful to you sometime. See how you like it. 
I'm not worried. What awful thing could you possibly do to me? I am Garfield! <laughs> I'll have to hand it to the man. This is pretty awful. But the main thing every rodent must know about cats is this. Cats eat mice. <laughs> That's so important, I'm going to repeat it. Cats eat mice. Yeah, well, some of us should try. Ooh, Carfield wouldn't eat a mouse, uh, would he? <laughs> I'm not sure. They say it on television. They must know. Our camera gerbil was unable to get any shots of this particular cat eating a mouse. But we did film him eating everything else. Except raisins, of course. <gasps> but it's a fact. Cats eat mice. There's a name for mice who think they know a cat that won't devour them. You know what we call those mice? Oh, no. We call them lunch. No cats were harmed in the making of this program, unfortunately. We better get out of this house. Sooner or later, Garfield will eat us. You sure, Roddy? Yeah, I'm sure. He's a cat, isn't he? Hey, hey, change the station on the TV so Mr. Arbuckle doesn't find out about the All Rodent Channel. Wow, right. People, it's five o'clock in the morning. Time for me, of course, to tell you all about radishes. We love radishes. Careful, don't wake them up. We don't have to worry about that. There's nothing in this world, nothing, that could wake that cat up. <laughs> but you know what goes real well with radishes? Lasagna. If you're serving radishes and you want your guests to cheer, just serve them with a side of lasagna. Did somebody mention lasagna? Hey, hey, Artie. Uh, you really think Garfield would have tried to devour us? He's tried to eat everything else in that house. Sooner or later, we would have been dinner. How about breakfast instead? Ah! Hey, breakfast, come back here! Ah! Ah! <laughs> You're not getting a <laughs> And one more thing about radishes. Don't you just love the sound they make when you crush them? No. And get back to what you were saying about lasagna. <laughs> Isn't it a little early in the morning for anything? <laughs> hey, Artie, we can go back into the house now. <laughs> and what if we go back in there and Garfield suddenly gets the morning mouse munchies? <laughs> Help! Hey, now, as I was saying, I think I'll start my day with a little mouse omelet. Ooh, you'd be great with some home fries on the side and uh, maybe an English muffin. Hey, Harry, what you got there? <gasps> Ooh, it looks like the makings of a mouse omelet. That'll be delicious, especially with vermin sauce. Mm -hmm. Vermin sauce? A mouse omelet is nothing without vermin sauce. You have some, of course? No. Ah, uh, too bad. <gasps> hey, I think John threw a half a bottle out last night. It's probably still there in the trash can. Hey, thanks. I'll get it, and... Uh, do me a favor, Garfield. Hold these while I fish out the bottle. Glad to be of service. <laughs> I don't see it. It's probably down near the bottom. Is this it? No, that's a shoe. Maybe it's down here. Hey, what's going on here? Double-crossed me! Now you're gonna eat my mice, Garfield! Hey, Garfield, are you, uh, are you, uh, 
you know, really, you're going to Ooh. eat us? Oh. Eat mice? Yuck. Why would I want to dine on mice when there are donuts in this world? Which reminds me, I'll let you two share my breakfast, just as long as you promise to eat like mice. <laughs> We're sorry we thought about you, Garfield. Yeah. Yeah, well, we'll never believe anything we ever hear on TV again. Hmm. Yeah, there are a lot of things on television that aren't true. But there's an awful lot that is true. The thing is, don't believe it's true just because it's on television. Stay tuned for The Garfield Show, the funniest and most wonderful program ever. Except for that. That's absolutely true. Mm. I hope they show the one where the two mice get up in the middle of the night and watch TV. <laughs> Not much in life. Think of it. I'm late. I was on a cheese break. <coughs> so I'm narrating this episode because it's kind of about me. Well, not at first, but later. You'll see. Cue the flashback. It all started about 10 days ago. John had been up late worrying about paying all his bills. His problem was that he had too much month left over at the end of the money. My gas bill's not that high. Neither is my electric bill. Why am I always broke? I'll get it. <laughs> Here you go, little pussy gatto. <laughs> oh, I hope he didn't leave off the guacamole. Well, there's your first hint right there. You're right. I'm spending way too much feeding Garfield. It's not just what you're spending that's the problem. Let me show you something. You see, Liz had this talking scale. You step on it, and it tells you how much you weigh. You weigh 121 pounds. You weigh 182 pounds. <laughs> ah, get off me! Please, you're crashing me! You have to stop feeding him so much because you can't afford it, and he needs to lose weight. I know, I know. The trouble is, when Garfield is hungry, I... Uh, I just can't say no to him. I have the answer. My cousin Hector is moving to town. He's a financial planner. He keeps people on budgets. I can't afford a financial planner. I've got that figured out, too. He needs a place to stay until his apartment is ready. I'm sure he'll be glad to help you if you'll let him use your guest room. Oh, hey. <laughs> so, Liz's cousin Hector moved in for a week or two. <laughs> Let's see here. I think I'll have an everything in the refrigerator sandwich with a side of every possible way you can cook potatoes. <laughs> It has to be just an optical illusion. I'll open it up again, and it will be full of ham and cheese and all those little pickle thingies I like. <laughs> all the food has been locked up. You'll be fed again at your official mealtime of 6 p.m., a.k.a. 2300 Zulu. <laughs> but, but that, that's minutes from now. No matter what Garfield did. Yeah. <laughs> Hector said no. <gasps> no. 
He's a heartless man. Won't even give food to a starving pussycat. Eventually, though, Garfield learned to live with the situation. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one! Ah, ha, ha, ha. We have a pizza. <sighs> okay, six hours until my midnight snack. Five hours, 59 minutes, and 59 seconds. Five hours, 59 minutes, and 58 seconds. Five hours, and 59 minutes, and 57 seconds. But there was a new problem. Down in the basement, John kept a few cases of canned cat food, just for emergencies. But as Hector discovered... There seems to be six cans missing. And the next night... It was the same thing. Oh. Six more cans are missing. And the next... This has got to stop. A meeting was quickly called, and the obvious suspect was accused. You were warned not to touch the cans of cat food in the basement. I didn't. I didn't touch them because, well, one, it would be wrong. And two, you'd punish me if I did. And three, and most importantly, I didn't think of it. What? <sighs> but the point is, I didn't do it. And why am I explaining this to you even though I can't talk and you can't hear me? You can deny it all you like, Garfield, but it's obvious to me you did it. I have to agree with Hector. Who else could have done it? Odie? Huh? <laughs> no, even I don't believe that, but it wasn't me. <sighs> I'm afraid it's unanimous. We have to punish you somehow. Maybe take away your midnight snack. No! Not my midnight snack! Not my delicious, yummy, mouth-watering midnight snack I'm supposed to get in! Three hours, 11 minutes, and 37 seconds. <gasps> but I didn't do it. I didn't. In order to clear himself, he had to figure out who did take the cat food. Hmm, maybe Nermal. Nah, he only eats cat food with his picture on the label. <gasps> maybe Harry or those twins. Then he came to a logical solution. <gasps> the mice. Squeak and his guys must have taken it. And that was logical. It wasn't right, but it was logical. The only ones who ever get into the basement are you guys, John, Odie, Cousin Hector, and me. And I know it wasn't John, Odie, Hector, or me. And we know it wasn't us. We don't eat cat food. Well, someone did it. How can they accuse me without proof? You just accused us without proof. Oh, so I did. Well, somebody oh. took it. So, uh, what are we gonna do, Squeak? I'll tell you what we're gonna do, Irv. We're gonna help our friend Garfield and find out who's been stealing cat food from the basement. <sighs> sure would be nice to have my midnight snack before bed. But, oh uh, well, I guess I just have to do, oh, get in some sleep. Odie felt sorry for his friend. So sorry that when he got his midnight snack, he took it in and left it for Garfield. <gasps> uh, thanks, Odie. But right the next morning, Detective Squeak was on the job, looking for clues. Mm, no clues here. No clues here. I had determined that the missing cat food was tuna in sauce. I decided to check out one place it could have gone. Hey! Nope. No indication of tuna in here. <laughs> 
I even studied the neighbors to see if any of them looked like cat food thieves. Nah, she doesn't look like someone who'd steal cat food. And she certainly doesn't. And this guy doesn't look like the kind of person who'd have anything to do with a cat. Giving up? Never. I have a plan, but it's gonna be dangerous. I'm gonna have to become the one thing every mouse fears becoming. Cat food! I needed an empty can of the same kind of cat food that was disappearing from John's basement. I searched up and down the street. And finally found one in a trash can down the block. Those detectives on TV never get that kind of reaction. That night, I put my plan into action. So, you hide in that can. And if someone steals cat food tonight, they'll steal me along with it, and I'll catch him. Go hide and turn out the light. So all there was to do now was wait. And wait. And wait some more. Finally, the cat food burglar snuck into the basement. And to my surprise, it turned out to be... Odie? Ow! It was Odie, all right. He took six cans of cat food and put them into a wagon he was pulling. He pulled the wagon down the street, down to the house where I found the empty can in the trash. I'm so glad to see you again. I'm always afraid you're not gonna come. That's when I learned why Odie was taking the cat food. I keep thinking how I couldn't feed him without your help. He came across them a few weeks ago. The little girl was hiding them out here from her mother, but she had no food for them. I guess we owe you an apology, Garfield. Odie, you could have just asked us for the food. I'll bet he was afraid Hector here would say no the way he's been cracking down on spending. My mom said we couldn't keep him in the house on account of she's allergic. Well, I was supposed to take him to the animal shelter, but I couldn't. Well, they can't live back here by the garage. They seem to be healthy. Huh? I could ask at the clinic if anyone will adopt them. Or I could take them. I've got that new apartment. It has plenty of room for cats in it, especially ones that are this cute. It's right down the street. You can come visit them. Well, that's pretty much the story. Squeak, I owe you big time. You did a good thing. Yeah, not anywhere near as good as Odie. Till dawn, kung uh -huh. fu creatures on the rampage. A classic. How that didn't win best picture, I'll never know. Uh, I'm going to bed, Garfield. Uh, don't stay up all night watching old movies, okay? Hmm, let's see what they're showing after kung fu creatures on the rampage. <gasps> kung fu creatures on the rampage 2, the sequel. Oh, I have to watch that. What's on after that? Kung Fu Creatures on the Rampage 3. Oh, I think I noticed a pattern beginning to emerge here. Kung Fu Creatures on the Rampage 4. That was the one where the Kung Fu Creatures rampaged in Hawaii. And then there's five and six. And, and that concludes our Movies Till Dawn presentation of Kung Fu Creatures on the Rampage 11. You're gonna quit now? 
Good morning, Garfield. Huh? I'm going out to run some errands. I may be gone all day. I'm going to bed. <laughs> I may be gone all year. Huh? <gasps> sleep. Must sleep. Nothing must stop me from sleeping. <laughs> Especially this. You want me to throw the stick so you can fetch it, boy? <laughs> All right, I'll throw the stick so you can fetch it, boy. <laughs> Odie, you were hiding in the back seat? Well, you want to come with me on my errands and keep me company? Okay, put on your seatbelt. <laughs> there, one less thing to keep me from sleeping all day. Hey! Hi, Squeak, don't talk to me, I have to go to bed. Oh, I won't bother you, Garfield. None of the mice will. We're all going out for a big hike. They're gathering out in the yard right now. <gasps> I think I'll help myself to the mouse buffet. <laughs> Quick, Arlo! The cat alarm! <laughs> cat alert. Repeat. Cat huh? alert. Cat in yard. Oh, the cat nice. alert? Come on, Joffy. Do I have to? <laughs> Kick all you want, mice. You're not getting away. <laughs> Here, let me get that. <laughs> <laughs> leave this yard and leave those mice alone, Bruno. I'll be back. Some mealtime soon, I'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> what can we do to repay you, Garfield? Go leave on your hike so I can get some sleep. You got it. Let's go, guys. Hop, two, three, four. Hop, two, three, four. Step in time. Stay together. One, two, three, four. Well, I hope I'm not too late, but I'm probably too late, but I hope I'm not too late. Uncle Squeak. Uncle Squeak. Uncle Squeak. Anybody who isn't my Uncle Squeak? <sighs> <sighs> At last, I can get down to some serious, uh, um, hmm. I wonder if Kung Fu Creatures on the Rampage 12 is on. No, no. I need to sleep. Sleep. Wonderful, delicious sleep. I love sleep. Sleeping is so good. Do you know where my uncle's week is? Do you know where all the mice went? We were supposed to leave for the hike at 10 o'clock and it's now 9.52 and you have a very pretty house here, but I prefer the color beige. What's your name? My name is Mary Margaret Mouse and Uncle Squeak is my uncle. Do you have an uncle? I have six uncles. All of them are mice, but my mom says Uncle Alfred is kind of a rat. I think that's a joke. Haha, <laughs> are you a cat? My mom says to beware of cats because cats are mean and dangerous and they eat mice. If you're a cat, I shouldn't even be talking to you. So, are you a cat? No, I'm not a cat. I'm an anteater. <sighs> Oh, good. I'm glad you're not a cat. Have you ever been to Portugal? Did I mention my name was Mary Margaret Mouse? You're the first anteater I've ever met. I thought I met a penguin once, but it turned out to be a short man in a bad suit. May I say one thing? It's your house. You may say anything you want in your house, Mr. Anteater. What would you like to say? What I'd like to say is... I'm sorry. The mouse hike left a little early. They'll be back to... I don't know, whenever they're back. <laughs> That's all right, Mr. Anteater. Could we play games until they get back, Mr. Anteater? I like games. Do you like games? I like to sleep. I do that, too. Well, goodbye, mm -hmm. Mr. Anteater. I'm going to go exploring on my own. If I see any ants you can eat, I'll let you know. Kind of a talkative little creature, isn't she? Hope she doesn't run into Bruno. <sighs> but, um, that isn't my problem. I have more important... <laughs> Okay, so it is my problem. Hmm. 
Why are you blue, Mr. Bluebird? Why aren't you chartreuse or purple or a nice shade of beige? Beige is my favorite color. Did you know that the biggest planet in the solar system is Jupiter? Have you ever been to Portugal? Oh. Oh. <gasps> Hello, Mr. Worm. Did you always want to be a worm? If you put on a fuzzy jacket, yeah. does that make you a caterpillar? Have you ever been to Portugal? Oh, hello, Mr. Anteater. Do you know Mr. Worm here? Okay, well, we'll play games. Yay. I'm gonna regret this. I am definitely gonna regret this. What's it Ooh. like to be an anteater? Do you like your ants raw or cooked? Did I ask you if you've ever been to Portugal? <sighs> Six times. Hey, save the questions. Let's just play hide and seek. I'll hide, you seek. Why do you hide and I seek? Can't you seek and I'll hide? Hiding is the fun part. Why don't we both hide? <sighs> You just cover your eyes and count to 10,000. Then come and find me. <laughs> One, two, three, four, <laughs> five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. <laughs> <laughs> It'll take her hours to find me under here. I'll have time to take a nap. I'm so tired. <sighs> Nine thousand nine hundred ninety-eight, nine thousand nine hundred ninety-nine, ten thousand. I found you. <laughs> Why did you hide under the bed? Why did you want to be an anteater? What's your favorite flower? My favorite flower is the petunia, although I have never seen one. Did you ever go on a toboggan? I've never been on a toboggan, but I once ate an entire egg salad sandwich all by myself. I guess that's not the same thing. Is it my turn to play? Why do you sleep like that? Do you enjoy snoring? Did you ever dream about being in Portugal? I don't snore. One night I stayed awake all night to see if I snored, and I didn't. Can you guess how old I am? Did you ever meet anyone named Arnie? I once met a man named Arnie, except his name was Richard, but I decided to call him Arnie anyway. Did you ever meet Abraham Lincoln? Did you know he was born in a log cabin that he helped his father build? Shut up. Isn't it an amazing coincidence that oranges are all orange? Except when they first grow them, they're quite green, so why don't they just call them greens? Shut up. What's your name? My name is Mary Margaret Pouse, and Uncle Squeak is my uncle. Do you have an uncle? I have six uncles. But my mom says Uncle Alfred is kind of a rat. I think that's a joke. Haha, -ha. are you a cat? My mom says to beware of cats because cats are mean and dangerous and they eat mice. If you're a cat, I shouldn't even be talking to you. So, are you a cat? I have to take the groceries in. Go find Garfield and play with him. What? Who? Where? Oh, it's you, Odie. I was just playing a game with Squeak's niece here. Hey, where'd she go? We're back, Garfield. What's this about my niece? Well, we were playing a game here and, uh, I fell asleep. Yeah, she has that effect on folks. So where'd she go? Bruno! Bruno got Mary Margaret? We've got to find her before. <laughs> you know. I know. I know. Shut up. Just shut up. And no, I've never been to Portugal. Based on my experience, no one has. Can I ask you a question? No! Just one question. It's very important. <sighs> All right. Ask me one question. Thank you. Are you a cat? Yes. Yes, I am a cat. Oh, good to know. Which way does the trail lead? <laughs> that way! Stop her! Hello, Mr. Anteater, Uncle Squeak, and Mr. Puppy Dog. Come on back to the mouse hole, Mary Margaret. You'll join us for supper. Got rid of a nasty old cat. My mom says cats are mean and dangerous and they eat mice. I don't like cats. If I see another cat, I'll do the same thing to him. <laughs> nah, I'm not afraid of her. Why should I be afraid of her? I'm an anteater. <laughs> Any delicious ants around? Mmm, 
I sure would like some chocolate covered ants for dinner. Nothing better than sitting in an easy chair with a bowl of popcorn and watching your favorite TV show. <laughs> He's right. There's nothing better than sitting in an easy chair with a bowl of popcorn and watching your favorite TV show, which I assume you're all doing that right now. You'll be sorry you did that, Garfield. Real sorry. <laughs> Don't worry, he won't eat much. Garfield, come save me from the awful, ugly, horrible mouse! You're not exactly the best-looking creature on the planet either, pal. <laughs> Guess I've got to do this. Get rid of it, get rid of it, get rid of it, get rid of it! He sounds like me when Normal visits. Hey, do you remember routine number eight? My favorite! Help, help! I should have known better than to enter a house where Garfield the cat is on patrol! Leave this home and never come back. I am leaving and I will never be back as long as Garfield the cat is here. <sighs> Thanks, Garfield. <laughs> Routine number eight. I don't know what it is. Ever since I was a child, I've had this fear of mice. Have you had a fear of mice ever since you were a child? <laughs> or a pair of heights, flying, public speaking, snakes, or people named Sid, then come to Dr. Whipple's Fear and Phobia Fighting Facility. Dr. Whipple's Fear and Phobia Fighting Facility can cure over 10,000 common fears, including spatula phobia. Fear of sitting on a grilled cheese sandwich. Vododiodophobia. The fear of finding raisins in your coleslaw. Oh, that one keeps me up at night. Or even zitta bada wada wada boink boink freebophobia. The fear of accidentally moving your entire family to Peru and becoming a wheelbarrow repairman. You'd be amazed how often that happens. No matter what you're afraid of, Dr. Whipple can cure you at his fear and phobia fighting facility. Hmm. That's it, Garfield. I'm going to go to Dr. Whipple's fear and phobia fighting facility and have him cure me of my fear of mice. I wonder if Dr. Whipple can cure me of my fear of what's going to go wrong with this. Of course I can cure your fear of mice, Mr. Arbuckle. While I'm at it, I'll also cure you of huge somophobia. Uh, huge somophobia? Of what's that? That's the fear of getting my bill. Eh, uh, that's a wise thought. This is my phobia flusher. <sighs> It can remove or also give you any known phobia. Let's see, I'll set it to remove and to musophobia. That's the fear of mice. And then we just give you a few seconds of it. <laughs> <laughs> and now you should be unafraid of mice. Let's test it, Sandra. I'm... I'm not afraid. Garfield, I'm not afraid of mice! 
<laughs> now, just because I'm no longer afraid of mice doesn't change your job. I still don't want to see any in the house. But tell them to do a better job of hiding. It says here that a fear of cats is called gatophobia. That's right. Just out of curiosity, what would happen if you implanted a fear of cats into a cat? Hmm, I don't know. Let's try it and find out. Let's see, add fear, gatophobia. I should have gotten that other fear removed. I'm getting scared of his bill. I'll follow them to record the findings of my little experiment. I'm going to go start cooking dinner. Great. Whatever you're making, make more of it than that. Hiya, Garfield. Oh, hi, Harry. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> Garfield, what are you doing up there? <laughs> go away. Just go away. I'm not coming down till you go away. All right, all right. I'm going away. Mm. Gee, I always thought Garfield liked me. <laughs> this footage will be great for my TV show. In my moment of panic, I forgot I'm not good at climbing, especially down. I can't wait until Garfield sees this new lip gloss I got. I'm sure he's going to love it. There you are, Garfield. How do you like the way I look today? <laughs> Like a monster. Do you understand any of that? No, 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 When Garfield's not around, I can watch TV without getting hurled into a trash can. I assume you're all doing that right now. Coming up later today on the Dr. Whipple Show, I show you how I instill the fear of cats into a cat. Here you see the specimen frightened by every cat he sees, including himself. <laughs> Garfield? <laughs> <laughs> this is my chance to get even with Garfield at last! I hope I don't run into any cats, including myself. Hello, Garfield! <laughs> Meow! <laughs> I'm never happy to see Normal, but that encounter was worse than ever. How about this one? Hide. Where can I hide? How about in here with huh? me? Sure, I'll just hide in. <laughs> go away! Go away! Go away! <laughs> oh, I'll go away, Garfield. If you promise you'll never mail me to Abu Dhabi ever again. But that's my favorite thing. No, no. All right, I promise. I'll never mail you to Abu Dhabi again. <laughs> <laughs> There you are. What did Normal make you do? Promise to never mail him to Abu Dhabi again. I don't know why I was so afraid of him. Oh, I can tell you why. Come here. Hmm. Dr. Whipple, huh? I think I'm gonna go borrow that invention of his. I'm heading home, Doctor. <laughs> See you in the morning. Remove gotophobia, fear of cats. I think 
think I'm cured. Yes, I am no longer afraid of me. Okay, now, let's program a few other fears in here for other folks. bother me again, he'll never even come near me. And if he does, he's promised never to mail me to Abu Dhabi again. <sighs> Scared of something, Nermal? Yes, but I don't know what. Maybe you have cutophobia. Cutophobia? What's that? Fear of being too adorable. What's it? <laughs> <laughs> what am I going to do? I'm too adorable, and I always will be. Not in Abu Dhabi. They have a different standard of adorableness over there. Well, then Ooh. send me to Abu Dhabi. But I promise not to. I release you from your promise. Uh -huh. Please, send me to Abu Dhabi. Send me to Abu Dhabi. Send me to Abu Dhabi. Abu Dhabi. Abu Dhabi. Well, if you insist. Oh, I don't know how to thank you for this, Garfield. Just staying there forever will do fine. Here, 15th class cattle bars are eight, please. Ah! Nicely done, Goff. You gonna return that invention to Dr. Whipple? Sure. He'll need it to remove the fear I gave him. Bye, Nermo. <laughs> it's a new one I invented. I call it animatophobia. Animatophobia? Yeah, it's the fear of being in a cartoon show. <laughs> I'm... I'm in a cartoon show! Oh no! I'm still in a cartoon show! <laughs> ha! And out here too! No matter where I go, I'm still in a cartoon show! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Why, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> 